Tonight, a call for answers by the family of Ashanti Billy. Her suspected killer is now locked up. But her parents want to know how the chain of events leading up to her death got as far as they did. The 19 year old's parents are grateful to authorities that an arrest has been made. But they are raising questions about security on the grounds of Little Creek, where the college student worked. Ten on your side's Erin Kelly has more from Ashanti's parents tonight. The family has established the Ashanti Foundation to help other families in similar situations. They say no one should have to go through what they have. It's been nearly two months since 19 year old Ashanti Billy set out for work on a military base and never came home. Her mother says suspect Eric Brown, charged with abduction and murder, preyed on her daughter. It's like it's looking at a monster, an animal. I don't even see a person when I look at him. I see an animal. I do. Just evil. Authorities say Ashanti never showed up to work at Blimpy, a sub shop at JEB Little Creek, one day in September. Court documents say Brown was a homeless retired Navy veteran who did construction on the shop and traveled from building to building on and off base. According to witnesses, he made crude sexual comments to Ashanti. Her family still has questions. There should have been a red flag for someone, you know, to know that this, this gentleman was showing up daily at Blimpy's. Authorities say they later found Ashanti's half-clothed body near a church in Charlotte, North Carolina. Her father said he doesn't believe Brown can't remember what happened. You know exactly what you were doing. You preyed upon an innocent young lady who happened to be my child. And that was the biggest mistake that you made. Promise you. We still have a lot of answers that we're looking for. Um, we're concerned. We're concerned for the safety on the naval base here. We're concerned for the safety in the community. If this was allowed to occur on a naval base, it can happen anywhere. A Navy spokesperson says Brown had a valid ID card that granted him access to the base and that no unusual or suspicious behavior was ever reported to base authorities. She says he may have been able to blend in with thousands of others with access to JEB and activities outlined in court documents, showering, watching television and doing laundry were not considered unusual. I left a message for the manager at the Blimpy on base and I'm working to learn more about any reports on Brown. In Chesapeake, Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.